Most of dream time stories, which is what this is, are creation stories were told all the way through many, many thousands of years. I had a DNA um, haplogroup test to see if I was one of the originals. I am. And my attachment, or my, on my female side, my mother's side and her mother's, has got a 75,000 year attachment to this country. But most of our country is uh, uh, ruled by dream time stories and creation stories. Our culture is so old, our creation story is older than the country itself. And when you're growing up, uh, you get told all these creation stories and, and this is one that was told to me by my father instead of my mother because I had a big, big, you know, great attachment to that. And um, it was about two snakes, that the creation of the, the story. The, the sea in that time was way back out past the islands. And on the top of those two hills out there were two snakes, two brothers that lived on the top of those hills. And every time the birds would fly in and create nests on their um, islands, they'd um, fight over, fight over, oh no, they, they would feed themselves, but one brother was a pretty sensible bloke and he looked after and, and took what was necessary where the other brother just ate anything and everything until one day the other brother woke up one day and realised that he'd never had anything on his island and thought, well, where's, where's all this happening? So he pretended to be asleep and uh, he could see his brother reaching over and snatching birds and snatching whatever landed on the on his, on the, the sensible brother's island. And so they uh, ended up fighting and they fought around and created the sound. And it was deep enough for the sea to start spilling over. So they came through, they created the arbour and um, then they went through and created the hills, pushed up all the hills around Albany, Kinjarling, and went up towards the um, Bohemian Point is now and their fighting created the waterways going through there and then when they got to, created the, the harbour, the, good brother, got the other brother to spew all his eggs up, or all the food, and that created Watami, the island that we call Green Island. And when you go there any day of the week, you can see there's all birds still sitting there, all looking for what they'd lost. And then when they'd seen all the upheaval, they'd cause one brother had gone up and created the Calgon River, and the other one had gone up and created the, uh, the King River. The, the bad brother created the King River um, and petered out into nothing. But the Calgon River goes all the way up to the Stirlings. And at the end of the, that river, there's a um, big ochre pit with all the different colours of the eggs and the, the blood and everything that, it, that was on the good brother. So he's remembered still today by the thing. By the, by the colours. Um, but whilst they were going around in Albany, like creating the Mount Clarence and Mount Melbourne, um, the mirroring people, they uh, was quite frightened about it because they were the two giant snakes uh, creating things. So they built a lizard trap, a snake trap, and that's still there today. And the old people, when, when they missed the, the great big lizard trap, uh, the old people got angry with the people that were supposed to lead them into the snake pit and they turned them to stone. And not far off that lizard trap, you see a set of rocks that look like people. And, and that's about the end of the story. They created a lot of the places in the Albany. I'm quite proud of that because it was done in, I did it in 2009. It's up there and it's quite proud of it. When my grandchildren or my children come in, they all stop to look at it and read it because it's something that they've grown up with too.
Hmm. So it's passed on for many, many thousands of years. Hmm. 